me start. Mm -hmm. Start. Hello, welcome friends. And uh, we team Empower are so happy to get back to Brillian uh, School children as well as parents. It's Monday morning, the supposed to be the first day of the week. Uh, we lockdown we have just lost the count key where the week starts and where the week ends. But theoretically, in good old days, Monday used to be the first day of uh, school or first day of working. So in that sense, that's the first day. Uh, here, myself, Sushil Mungekar, uh, I am a founder and CEO of uh, Empower, and I have my colleague Deepal, who heads program management and operations. And both of us are here to have a conversation with you on thinking creatively. Uh, it's, may, uh, it's not going to be a monologue, uh, a lecture kind of a thing. Uh, a couple of interesting things that we are trying to do in this. One is, uh, we'll talk, give a little bit of perspective about thinking creatively, how does it work? And then we are going to play some activities, some games. Uh, there is going to be uh, excitement about how to play games and learn thinking, you know, uh, this entire concept. And, address this entire concept is all about. Uh, in this, uh, it's going to be more like Kaun uh, Maniga Karodopati, if you have seen that, uh, where you are going to get a chance to pull on the correct answer, you are going to tell us that, and together we are going to play that game and move ahead. Sounds exciting. So let's fasten our seatbelts and uh, go through this uh, wonderful journey. Uh, to start with, let me just try and share my uh, a small presentation. So we are um, aware that we are talking to grade 9 and grade 10 and maybe grade 11 students sitting out there. And uh, we are also aware of the fact that now that CBSC, ICSC has uh, cancelled examination for the previous year and the uh, entire thing, learning has moved to online. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of, uh, uh, wouldn't call a stress, but a lot of anxiety in the minds of students out there. And how this entire academic year is going to pan about. On top of it, there is lots and lots of expectations which are suddenly set. So by 7th and 8th, everybody treats us like a kid and tamper and all. Suddenly you get into 9th and 10th, everybody starts looking at you as a responsible person. What career you are going to choose? How are you going to pan your entire life? What is that you have thought of? Doctor, banega, engineer, banega, lawyer, banega. all sorts of questions are bombarded on us. And we suddenly realized ki kaltak, you know, this was not there. Now suddenly people are asking us to do. So uh, this is important, uh, you know, milestone in everybody's life. And we can't uh, shy away from that. And how thinking creatively can actually help you. So I'm going to start uh, with one uh, important uh, takeaway uh, of, the, of how the industry and how careers are moving. Uh, and world around us is changing. And who... Uh, knows better than you people because you are you know on the technology on the go you understand where the where the world is moving uh, because of rapid technological changes around us because constantly involving human needs look at uh, covid 19 for that matter uh, suddenly the offline world has moved to online everything has changed some of the industries have just collapsed some of the industries have moved uh, teaching for that matter has just moved to online and how uh, it has it has still survived uh, the e complex economic world around us, the trade, the finance, all these things are, are changing and also supported by environmental changes, you know, uh, the global warmings and all. All these things are actually having a lot of connotations on careers. So, when we talk careers, ki baat karte hai, jab hum sochte hai ki what is that we want to do, uh, there is, uh, you know, we need to be really uh, knowing the fact that a lot of things are changing, whatever we are thinking. Uh, may not be there. I mean, the research so 62% of today's jobs will not exist by 2022. Or research This is World Economic Forum research. And uh, Dell Technology, the famous Dell Computers companies, have actually done a research stating 85% of the jobs by 2030, 10 years later, jobs hunge, 
we don't even know what those jobs are sitting now so we are into a situation where whatever we have is going to rapidly change whatever is going to come we don't even know what that going to be so there is a lot of uncertainties about how the future is going to pan about how we, how we are going to take the careers how these careers are going to shape and in this entire world of uncertainties everybody is looking at us to manage uh, you know how our entire uh, journey of life and that's where i say that 9th 10th 11th these are very crucial years where uh, we have to deal with uncertainty we should be ready to deal with this and this actually calls for a transition so we are in the force of transition and i i you know if, if you look at this picture uh, you actually now getting ready to move from a one ladder to another ladder going to catch that obviously nobody wants to fall down we want to catch that and go ahead but at the same time we also also have to pick up the right ladder and how do we make sure that which ladder is good for us zahir uh, ki you know whatever is good for our friend is not need not be good for us so we we have to really identify what is our ladder and we should be able to jump and catch that and this is where i urge all of you to actually come out of these two words you know in academic pressures of which wherever you go they are always bogged down by these two words right and wrong and iske beech mein apni puri life ghumti rehti hai we just keep what is right what is wrong wrong should be avoided right should be done keywords kya hai definitions kya hai all these things we keep uh, talking a lot and isme we actually forget one more important thing that there is a life beyond right and wrong both and that is something which can be explored by thinking creatively so there are limitless possibilities around us and anything that you do everything that you do i mean as the world is moving who has, who would have thought 10 years back that the that the food can be delivered at home we don't have to go out the taxis can be booked online uh, the shopping can be the, the the clothes can be bought online and uh, you know all sorts of changes which are happening all those are happening because of thinking creatively and mind you it's not i mean it's one of the most important entrepreneurial skill and because as an entrepreneur you have to think creatively but it goes beyond i mean it it, it is today a necessity for every person to think creatively whether you do a job whether you become a professional like doctor in a uh, lawyer or a uh, musician or a guitarist or a chartered accountant or you start up something on your own you have to be creative to have edge around uh, you know about others so this is something which uh, we need to do i am going to take a very quick example before we move to games and and then all around that and this example is about pen such a simple thing i mean we use this pen right from our grade 1 um, and as you know that you know the world has changed around us we see lot of changes in products and services best example is mobile phone you know mobile phone was used for theoretically for communication but today everything is there you have a camera so today mobile phone is more of a camera than uh, you know a phone and then because of selfie coming in and because of photos coming in there are so many things that you do you have a calculator you have everything so just one mobile phone is actually 40 50 gadgets in our hand you can learn, listen to music and all So if I ask you uh, to take example of a pen and which all other products that which are other features that we can add into a pen, uh, obviously you know which are more relevant, then how do we go about? And this is where creativity kicks in. So typically our thought process of creativity is thinking about various options available and go ahead with that. But I'm going to take very quickly uh, you guys. a complete canvas of creativity and i want uh, you know uh, all of us should be should to know about it because this is how creativity ultimately leads to tangible outcomes so for example the first thing is how fluent we are how many new unique ideas that we can see i mean i can look at uh, make a password protected pen i can make a uh, blood pressure management kit holding in hand and so on and so forth so i can come out with multiple ideas when we run this kind of thing in our workshop we get 40 50 70 ideas i mean in one class we got 112 ideas thought by three people I mean, that's the power of imagination that's the power of lateral thinking so this is one but the creativity doesn't end there then it moves to a next level that how flexible you are in terms of thinking so for example when when you look at uh, are you looking at only technological changes are you looking at only aesthetic changes 
are you looking at comfort changes so what kind of various attributes that we are looking at in technology alone there can be 20 30 things in healthcare there can be another 20 30 things that we can actually add into them so it then travels to how flexible we are in terms of thinking how fast we can think on this acha yahan pe stop nahi hota hai isme se we need to really understand how much of that is original to us how much is really out of box thinking which is not heard of many heard by many people isme you know this is something which is quite unique maybe it will be just out of 40 50 things that we have thought it may be just two or three things but that's very important to know how much of that is really out of box it doesn't stop there then it goes to elaborations so and how uh, many of these things can we can really think it through it's very easy to say that i will have a blood pressure measurement in a pen but then we start thinking into that then we'll have to really identify ki iska bulb kahan pe hoga uh, iska uh, uh, you know meter kahan pe hoga where will i see the reading how will it move how will it identify pulses so we have to then do a deep dive in terms of uh, how exactly that will work and yahan pe shayad humko pata chal sakta hai ki whatever we are doing is not feasible and then we have to again go back and say that this idea may not work maybe something else so our ability to think through completely in terms of elaboration but it doesn't end there as well it moves further that how many multiple solutions we can think by just one particular thing if i just add a, a mercury meter at the bottom how many possible ways i can use that or if i have a password protected pen how many things i can use uh, for that and then multiple way we can map it and the last one is how best we are building interlinkages by adding just one minimum thing now if you travel through this entire canvas of creativity the reason why we are showing that because then from a sheer idea idea to sabko aate everybody uh, has idea everybody has two sides of brain left and right and very fact that we have that that means we can think creatively but the idea is how do we take the entire creativity to ultimately building something meaningful and tangible and that is what is more important just don't, don't stop only at a idea and thinking creatively actually helps you to do that so with this we are introducing both uh, ufs uh, learning and empower both of us have uh, uh, you know we are privileged to actually introduce you to a platform uh, built by axelium axelium is a israel based organization and what they have done is very unique i mean they have also thought very creatively around it what they have done is they have built a gaming platform because games uh, sabko acche lagte it's not only for kids and toddlers it's even at your age and forget about you even we feel so nice about not that we are very old but we feel very nice about playing games and activities uh, for you know while doing that so they have built a online platform where there are multiple games and through those games we start picking up some of these aspects of uh, whether it is creative thinking whether it is problem solving whether it is uh, uh, you know flexible thinking and so and so forth so this particular system is extremely uh, very well designed i mean it has it has a exposure it has been built over last several years uh, but if you look at it it's a personal it has a personal login credential so if you are uh, logging in the password and everything is known to you it's just like your instagram account or uh, uh, you know your own uh, personal space nobody else can actually see that it's extremely user friendly workflow it has a web based interface so you don't have to download those apps so you can play it on a mobile tomorrow you can play it on computer then day after tomorrow you can again come back on mobile just if you know a login or password just like your facebook and and instagram kind of a thing and it has a centrally managed server and online support so you know when you log in on that you don't get any other pop ups and also you don't get diverted disturbed nobody has to bother about you know the screen time you are actually just on a game and as you play these games these are fairly adaptive so there this goes into three levels you know obviously you play games you enjoy you know and bahut maza aata hai games khelne mein but once you play those games then it moves to the next level that how do you uh, convert those learnings uh, of the game into meaningful way so how do we learn and games are the best way to learn ki ye step aapne kyun liya ye step aapne kyun nahi liya agar ye step lete to kya hota and that is where we start learning that how uh, you know we can we can uh, modify our our stuff and then it goes to a next level where we try and build those learnings into real life situations because learnings can't remain only in the game we have to actually transfer that to real life so there are a lot of real life 
situations, questions, interactions with you. And then we can actually start applying some of these learnings into our real life situation. As I spoke about, uh, this is, uh, has been built over the last 23 years. It has more than, as we speak, it has more than 5 million students using that across 30 different countries. So it's a very widely spread, very well accepted across the world. A lot of research is at the scope. The good part is now it's introduced in India. So is a partner for uh, Excellent in India. And UPS Learning uh, just focuses on life skills. So UPS Learning has partnered with all of us and both of us have uh, you know, brought this for Indian students. And that's where we are. So with, without further ado, now I'm going to hand over uh, the session to Deepal. She is our, uh, you know, the, the entire gaming expert. So she's actually going to take us both the game as well as the learning behind it and see how interestingly she converts a simple, I mean, not a very simple, it's an interesting game and draws uh, learning from that. And this is what the wonderful journey is. So over to Deepal, I'm also very excited to see how, you know, which game you are going to play. So, Thank you, Sushil. Uh, Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for logging in. And let me start by uh, sharing my slide and taking you through this beautiful journey of creativity. And here is my slide. And uh, so she is so, spoke so much about thinking creatively. Let me build something on that. Thinking creatively, when it comes to that, we always think that, you know, creating something, uh, being very artistic is thinking creatively, but it is not. There are a lot of many, many aspects to thinking creatively. And it is especially useful when you are at an age when you're making a lot of decisions. So because of this creativity, a lot of these products have been created, right? You have 3D printers, we have social media, we have autonomous cars. They all have come by somebody thinking about it in a different way or somebody wanting to make a change, to create something out of it. I'm going to take one example out of this, okay? The autonomous car. The car is self-drive, okay? Human intervention is very low. But do you think this creation happened overnight? Yeah, jab pehle wo kar bani to immediately they would have succeeded? Actually not. It is not possible. Uh, autonomous cars has reached where they are because of multiple failures, okay? So if they would have stopped the first time the car failed, uh, they would have never reached this level. So this is the concept I'm trying to take today. And it is a very important part of creativity to look at uh, a setback or a failure in a positive way. Okay, it's creativity. Why? Because you have to keep on creating new ideas to be able to build on that, to be able to give something very new, something very out of the box. So you have to keep on building on it. And that's today's concept, okay? To look at setback or failure or actually think of it as a positive setback. So we all have setbacks in life, right? So if we get injured during a match, we have to give up on practice. And, you know, we can't play any matches. But when you think of it, if you want to avoid any permanent damage, it is a setback, but it is not really a very bad one. Okay, it's, it's, It doesn't stop us. If you got lower grades, if you stop studying, then the grades will keep on getting lower until you go and step back and look at it as a learning lesson. Now, you have all have online school, okay? And so it gets very frustrating, very boring, but it's a temporary arrangement and it's good for everybody because it's keeping us occupied. We're not doing, if, imagine just sitting at home and doing nothing at all. So that is something which is a setback, the online thing, but you know, it is going to be positive. It's temporary and it's going to change. So what do we learn from setbacks, okay? Uh, you know, we have to ask very important questions to ourselves that uh, what are we learning from it? And how can I adjust to, to fall into the trap? How can we stop ourselves from making the same mistake? And how do we do better? And what's one thing I can do differently next time. So if you look at creativity, I'm going to um, what happens is we keep on building on it. 
Okay, uh, Sushil, are you able to hear me? Sushil, can you hear me? People were missing you out in between. So maybe you can just repeat the uh, last 30 seconds, whatever you spoke. Okay, so uh, can you hear me now, Sushil? Yes, we can hear you. Great. So what I was doing was I was trying to learn from the setback. Okay, it's a part of creativity. And how do I learn from setbacks? I ask myself very important questions. Okay, with the setback, what did I learn? How I can change from it? How can I adjust my the future? Okay, how can I stop myself from making the same mistake? So I'm thinking different. And what can I do differently next time to avoid this kind of trap? That is what is about setbacks. Now, uh, I'm going to give you two examples of people with setbacks and how, you know, in future, they came out very strong. They didn't take a setback as, uh, as something which will stop them. They didn't give up. So these are two quotes. And if you Google them, you will see how beautifully they changed their lives. And... And that's Anthony Irwin uh, in Olympics. He decided to retire. Okay, it was too much for him. The, the, the fame was too much. And you know what he did? Um, he tried to look at it as a positive setback. Okay, there was so much competition. He just did not want to do it. But he came back after 10 years. And when he came back after 10 years, he still won the gold medal. He did not give up. So it was a setback for him. But he looked at it in a positive way. There's another man. His name is Novak. And uh, uh, are you able to hear me, Sushil? Yeah, but I think it's a more of a network issue, I guess. Because we are losing you out. So I think you're talking about Novak. Yes, I am talking about Novak and he missed a session in one year because of the elbow injury. But you know, he took a big break in his career. It would have been a setback, but he let it, let it heal. And when he came back, he was still amongst the top players. So he took the setback very, very positively. In fact, why we are going far? I mean, let's look at our own uh, god of cricket, Sachin Tendulkar. At the age of 31-32, he... Uh, uh, got diagnosed tennis elbow and virtually his career was at stake and people said that he won't be able to bat again uh, this injury will be permanent but then he took one year's break he completely uh, went through the surgery and he again came back and started cracking and after that he created records for himself for the country so I think it's very important to you know how we manage it back very true and the question which comes to mind is how is this all related to creativity? Okay, creative solution is not always looking at the result. Okay, when we are enlightened, like, yes, this is what we do. But you have to orderly look at it, process it, analyze it, and understand that every setback is also a positive retreat. So it's something which should not, which should not stop you. Now, how do we, uh, you know, mix it with a game? Okay, we're going to take a very, very interesting game today. It's called as Maxit. And if you see, yes, it is about numbers and we all love numbers. And I'm going to start explaining the basic rules of Maxit. Okay. It is played on a grid. Okay. And the numbers are randomly drawn. And what do we have to do? We are playing up against the opponent, which is the computer. And if you see the yellow box and the purple box, so you both have zero points. What is the goal? The goal is to just win more points than the opponent. It seems very easy, but it isn't. So what's the first rule? Okay. So wherever there is an asterisk, that's the line that you take a number from. So I can pick up any number from this to be able to win. And uh, say we choose a number seven. What happens when we choose number seven? It gets added to my, uh, my kitty or, you know, it, it's my number now. And then the opponent has to take from the column. Okay, so I took the row and the opponent gets to take the column. So now it's the opponent's turn and they will choose a number. Okay, so suppose 
uh, they choose a number then it will be my turn from the row column that they selected and i choose the number and wherever there is an asterisk that's where i take my number from now i want to explain it again to you okay so if this is my first turn i take a number from this row it goes to the opponent he takes the number from the column then it's my turn and i take the number from that row and that's how you go on adding okay now let's try one game level okay so i'm going to do it here again very quickly take us through the rule because the slides were switching very fast so just go back to the rule once again and take us through the rule again sure okay going back to slide 1 what's the the goal of the game is to win more points than the opponent now if you see an asterisk here okay that asterisk is what i can take a number from that is my row i can choose any number from this and then play start the game so say i choose a number 7 okay so when i choose a number 7 from that same column okay mine are rows and the opponents are columns from the same column where i chose the number 7 from the opponent will choose another number okay so I will here i just to understand uh, deepal i am going to uh, rows are mine i am going to select from the rows and the opponent is always going to select from the columns correct okay. correct okay so now it's the opponent's turn and wherever there was my number 7 a asterisk has been put and now the opponent can choose from any number in that column okay so it will choose any number i got 7 points it's the opponent's choice to choose whatever number so maybe it chooses say number 6 so that's how the game goes now i have a game level here to be to help you understand and i'm going then i'm going to go to the axiom app so this is a level both are now 30 30 points and this is like an end of a game so i have to choose from this row i can either choose a minus 4 or i can choose a 7 because i don't have many numbers it's less confusing so say i choose a minus 4 now that minus 4 now the column goes to the opponent okay because i took a minus 4 from there the only option that remains with the opponent is to take a 6 right because there are not many numbers so when they take a 6 i'll get that row so when i get that row i can choose 15 okay that gets added to my and then when i choose a 15 they get to choose a 7 and then when they to that's my final score so people your voice is completely breaking we are just not able to hear so you so that's how it happens in a reaction so i have to think about what people can you hear me it will make and looks like that we have lost uh, people we are just able to hear i think there is a yes i can hear people sorry we completely lost you for one minute you have to go back three slides and then again come back please 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 please, please. Can you hear me, Sushil? So we just lost you for last one minute. So yeah, so uh, I switch some internet screens uh, to get some better. Can you see me, Sushil? Can you see me? No, we can't see you, but we can see your screen. Great, great. So I'm just going to go back to my presentation. Uh, there was a problem in my network, so some of my screens got switched off. Uh, I'm going to start sharing my screen again. Just give me a minute. So I think all of us who are watching this, till the time she switches to the screen, all of us who are watching this, I think it's quite interesting. You uh, 
you know many times you have to uh, take a lower move like lower number for the higher you know score subsequently so you have to plan it such a way so even when you get a setback i think you have to take it in a in a positive way because the solution can lie somewhere closer to that all uh, failures need not be bad some failures can also be good and as the failures come you can actually that helps you to push you know that pushes you to uh, look at things more creatively at least it can give you some answers of you know the problems so uh, can you view my screen now sushit i yeah, have got the network back so uh, i will just explain the last game to you i'm not sure if you all got it i'm playing this level with you so this is my screen and i have a very few numbers to be able to understand how to play the game so if you if you see the row is mine and i can choose some number from this row so i will say choose a number minus 4 why do i choose number minus 4 because i am planning ahead so if i choose minus 4 uh, the opponent will now choose number 6 because that's the only number possible to be taken from that column just hold on deepal i think yeah. uh, i have one interesting observation now yes. give minus 4 and 7 the obvious choice would have been 7 because 7 is the higher number i could have added Correct. but the way deepal is explaining by taking minus 4 you are actually eyeing for that 15 which you can get and if you see minus is a setback right so when i take a setback it's actually helping me gain in the future so that's the concept that we're trying to trying to cover so when i take a minus four i the the opponent is forced to take a six and because of that i can take a 15 and because of that the opponent gets a seven and then finally i get the seven so if you total up it will it will i will win the game because of my first choice okay now let's try this game so i think on... in order to sum up i let me use another metaphor always it is said that you should not mind losing small battles to win big war so setbacks are those small battles even if you lose i think the war is something which you can build which is you know larger creativity correct now if you look at this this is the actual axiom app okay i have logged into the platform if you see there are so many levels here and i have reached level 11 i can't open till i go ahead and how does the game look it's not a few numbers ex- that i explain to you it's an entire board filled with numbers so for me to be able to win the game i have to keep on thinking of my best move now let me take you to one game level which is level 10 and i will continue this game this is a game which is half played and let me show you a positive retreat or a setback in this turn so i will choose i can choose from a 4 or i can choose a minus 1 let me take the minus 1 here when i take minus 1 it gets added to my score okay uh, can you view the screen sushil yes we can okay so it gets added to that and now it's my turn again so i have no other option but to take this one so i take the one and the opponent gets to take the other one okay now if you look at it it is minus 1 for me and the opponent gets a 2 so i am at 85 and they are at 91 but my goal is to get 15 okay there's a 15 on the board and i planned it that way so i take a 1 so look what happened okay the only option that i have is to take 15 because i chose the first minus 1 so i take 15 and now i have a edge ahead and if you see i will win this game by a very small number but i will win it because i planned ahead wow so all of all of the audience who is who is watching this are the rules clear because we are going to play this game live with you all and you are going to now solve uh, and give the solutions to us so uh, yeah so if you look at it the games gives you tips it will tell you that how much uh, i have gained and it also gives me analysis of how i am doing as to before earlier i was not good but i actually got gotten better with it 
So, do you think we should play a game with all of you? To share? Yeah, we can go ahead. Maybe we can play for the first round and yeah. see how it is. So, can you send me the link on the chat so that yeah. I can? Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, this has been shared with uh, everybody uh, already, and this is the code. Uh, just give me a minute. So, what are we are supposed to do now? There is a link I'm. We are going to share on. You know, it's already there on the screen. I'm going to share that on the YouTube chat also. Click on this uh, link, menti.com, and there's a code which is given, which is eight three one five one four. So as you give the go to the menti.com, you give this code, then you will be able to get a uh, screen with multiple options, and obviously one out of three four options will be the right answer. You have to poll that. You have to give a poll. Let's say that answer one is right or two, three, whichever way you feel. And once you see poll that, after that you come back, submit your answer, and come back to YouTube again and see what's the correct answer. Where we will show you what the correct answer is. Uh, so the code has been sent to you, and it has also been shared with the school already. I'm going to Menti now and uh, seeing how many people are there uh, waiting. So the, code, the first level. Sorry, the code and the site, both of them have been already submitted on the chat. You can see that it's www.menti.com, and then there is some uh, alpha numeric number, and the code is eight three one five one four. So just click on that link, give this code, you'll be able to see the uh, level as well as option. Select one option, whichever you feel correct, and submit it, and then again come back to YouTube to watch. what the correct answer is and that's how we are going to play the second and the third and the fourth level and obviously as we go ahead the levels are going to get complicated so but don't i am we are sure you'll be able to crack it so let's go ahead and see how it works so deepal can we start yes it's uh, i have already shared my screen to menti and people have started voting Wonderful. there and uh, you know i already explained the first level to you all uh, the way we look at it but it's not the only thing okay so look at it i have to think ahead what if i take a four what will be the next column that the opponent will get so they will probably get a nine so then what will happen so that's how i have to plan okay so if i take a four and the opponent gets a nine they win the game but if i take a minus 10 and look ahead they will get a minus 9 and i will get the 15 so that's how i have to plan the game so look at it do i take a four if i take a four i'll get a 34 and the opponent is already at 34 34 plus 9 and then uh, there is nothing in this row so the game stop the opponent wins so think about what you're answering ah uh, yeah you already a hint yes So fifty-six percent people are seeing seeing option A is right. So I urge them to think. Okay. So 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 don't jump to the conclusion immediately. Look at further steps. What will you do? What will opponent get? And then basis that give your answers. We have time. We have another thirty seconds to poll. So you have to wait for thirty seconds. those who are joined late just click on uh, the uh, site which is given www.menti.com it's there in the dialog box and there's a code 831514 just click on that and you'll be able to get this puzzle you have to vote or give your poll and let's see which is going to be the right answer is it a is it b so currently i can see a tie between the two almost 50 and 45% people are feeling A and B is the correct answer. So, what is my first feeling? I always think by taking minus ten, I might lose the game, right? But look at the options ahead. I take a minus ten now. The opponent gets a minus nine. What is the next number I get? I get a fifteen. And after taking fifteen, there is no other number in the column. So, who wins the game? Correct. I 
I'll show the image again and let me talk to people. You have to go to menti.com, add in the code 831514 and you'll get a voting site. So when I look at the voting site, I will have to choose between option A, B or I can also say I don't know. But why should I choose option A or B? I have to plan. If I take a 4, my, uh, my total becomes 34 and the opponent gets a 9. So 34 plus 9. And the game ends. So who is the winner? If I take a minus 10, the opponent gets a minus 9 and I get 15. And there is no more moves. So who is the winner? So I think uh, most of them have voted. So let's look at the answers here. Sure. Let me go take you to the answer. And uh, in a minute, I'll be able to tell you. I'm going to show you that. Uh, Garima Khandelwal, we read your message. Just hold on. We'll explain the rules again after this level. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to stop my slide share for a minute and I'm going to go to the demo. Um, I need a minute, Sushil. So meanwhile, let me just explain the rules, which, you know, some of you would have joined late. Uh, we are playing a game uh, and in that, you know, the, obviously it's a game of numbers. Uh, you are playing against the computer uh, and, or the system and you have to pick up, you know, which would be the correct strategy and how will you get maximum numbers. So it's about getting more numbers. The whole concept is about accepting, uh, you know, smaller failures to win the larger goal to win uh, a game at the end. So many a times you don't, you don't have to win every step. Sometimes you have to go back, take the set back so that you're going to get better things uh, in life. And this actually game beautifully uh, teaches you that concept. So this is what has been done. I think the first level is already done. Uh, there's a, there's a, a site which has been already, the link has been already given in the dialog box. It's www.menti.com. Click on that, give the code, which is 831514. And then you'll be able to uh, give a, you'll get options. You give a poll and then again, come back to the site, to, to YouTube, to actually see what's the correct answer is. And uh, Deepal, can you show us the final answer in this? Yeah, I'm trying to show it, uh, Sushil, but there is some problem in my uh, presentation. I'm not able to share it. Can you give me a minute? Sure, so you're going through a setback. Yeah, there's a setback. Just give me a minute. I need to figure this out. Okay, cool. So meanwhile, uh, if anybody has a question, please type those questions in the dialogue box. Uh, we spoke about creativity. We spoke about how you can think creatively and why it is important. Uh, so if you have any questions either on the game or either on the, on the, uh, the concept of thinking creatively, please put your questions on this. We can take it now or we can take it later as well. Uh, what's the code? The code is 831514. That's the code that you can use. And then you can, uh, you'll be able to solve. Currently the one level is over. I think uh, people is trying to uh, restore the system, but uh, uh, these are these are intuitive games that you can play. And we are just showing you one game out of it. The platform has multiple such kind of game levels. So you will be able to uh, you know understand various concepts and thinking okay. creatively, particularly at, at this age, is so important. And that's I where uh, people ready with with her answer. So. Let's yes. look at it. So I got over my setback and I got uh, the presentation. So uh, I am sorry, there is a kind of a glitch uh, in this. So let me explain this level. So this is the second level or the, the previous level only? Uh, this 
is the first level uh, i'm just going to go ahead and explain this level to you sushil okay so look at this level it gives me an option to take a minus 3 and a 4 okay so what do i do what is my first step if i take a minus 3 the opponent gets a 5 and then i take get a minus 1 uh, the opponent gets a minus 1 and right. then there's a minus 10 and then there is a minus 5 okay so that's how i plan my levels and that's how i get my answer then i go to a 0 then a 10 and a 4 and then i win the game right because i looked at each step and i won the game i need to go back to mentimeter and go to the next level okay uh now you have three answers here in this level you have three answers yes a b and c and then fourth is obviously you don't know i don't have any votes as yet probably because the level just opened So all of you have to go through. Take time. Don't just jump to the uh, conclusion. It appears to be very simple, but you have to move forward three or four steps and see if you do X, the opponent will get Y, then you will get Z, then opponent will get another thing, and then how scores will get added. It's very interesting to see this. And both of you are at thirty-two score, you and opponent. So how do we manage to get more points than the opponent? the slide has been already shared with this and 100% of the people i think only five people have voted so far but all of them feel option a is the correct option people are you agreeing with this uh, or you don't want to reveal the suspense i don't want to reveal the suspense so we will wait will not answer but yeah. as of now janta ka nirnay hai ki a is the correct option and obviously only eight people have i think eight or nine people have just given vote so let's yeah. wait for the people to to see what do they think don't get biased by others answers so uh, here i have an option to choose okay uh, if you see on the screen there is no asterisk so what if i told you that i have an option to put the asterisk so wherever whichever number i choose the opponent can choose that column So where will you put your asterisks? Will you put at A? Will you put it at B? Or will you put it at C? So if I put an asterisk at A, uh, what will happen? I get to choose say number ten, and the opponent gets number four, and that's how I try to play the game. So I have to think about the level what that I'm going to do, and then take it ahead. So think very. Uh... logically about this and remember the principle a small setback is not a problem you got to win the game sometimes you have to go two steps back to jump five steps higher now there are few people who are also thinking b is the correct answer and we are yet to get some more polls you have more 15 seconds to respond nobody is thinking c is the right answer but majority of the people are feeling a is the correct answer so think about where i want to put my asterisk okay it is my choice either i can take a a or b or a c so whichever i put the opponent gets to choose the column so think of it that it's not an easy level uh, it's easy to get confused uh, i just want to hint that maybe the answer that you all are giving is not the correct answer oh so think about it okay, we are, 
uh, whether the asterisk will come at A or B or C is the is what we have to look at. Yeah, yeah. So I keep on planning. Okay, so if I put an asterisk at C, then the opponent gets a minus one. I get a zero. The entire game is like a chain reaction. So you have to go to the end. So it's not easy. You have to keep on thinking about so many different things. and then i can go to the level so this level is about choosing the asterisk and not choosing the number so 15 people have already given their answers there are a few more answers expected so we'll take another 10 seconds and then we can go to the answer so last count on 5 4 3 2 1 and we stop the voting so people can you show us the answer Okay, so what were you tempted to do, and why was it important? Okay, you have to have the logical best logical move there. So look at it. I'm going to show you how exactly it happens. So if I take this, then they would have got a four, and then I would have got a three, and then they would got a eight. And I've got a minus ten. So the total addition in mine is only three, whereas the opponent would have got twelve. So I would have lost. Correct. So forty-four and thirty-five. Okay, I would have lost the game. What if I had done this? B option. So we would have lost the game. So the correct option here was C. I took a minus one, and then the opponent gets to take a zero. Then I get two. Then I get two. The opponent again gets zero. The opponent gets zero, and there is no other number. So I win the game. Okay. So option C is the right answer, and not Correct. E and B. We had okay. minimum take. I mean, I don't think anybody chose option C. Correct. Now I go to level three. Doesn't matter. So now let's go to level three and uh, find out which would be the correct answer. Is it A or is it B? So I'm going to help them with this. Okay, whether I should choose a A or I should choose a B. If I choose a A, then what happens? The column has two numbers. It's a five and a zero. So the opponent can take a five, and then the game ends because there is nothing else in that row. Okay, and the game just ends. So if I take a minus ten, the opponent gets a minus four. Then I get a minus one. The opponent gets a two, and I get a fifteen. So, what do you think is my correct answer? Do you think this game is uh, confusing, or you need to play it actually on the platform to be able to figure it out? No, I don't think it's confusing. It's probably uh, you know they are able to solve it correctly. so look at the concept that we are covering we are taking a positive setback okay and in this level you can definitely use that to win the game brilliant
so manthan you are not supposed to reveal the answer on the chat you are supposed to vote and you know quietly come back to youtube because otherwise everybody will give the answer that you are given let everybody we yeah. don't even know whether the answer which you are putting is right or wrong we'll wait for all people to vote and if Sorry. you see the grade right answer Sorry. no everybody is thinking b is the right answer and voting for b is increasing right because now they have started thinking okay now they started to plan ahead look at what so manan no, you have given a as option so you want to change and go to b or you are sticking to a so i will think again what if i happens if i take a five i get a 85 and then i'm sure the opponent will take a five and 82 plus 5 but there is nothing else in the row so who wins the game opponent wins the game people can we reveal the answer after 10 seconds sure sure majority of them have given option b as the right answer right yes can you see the poll on the screen yeah oh so there's a hoping majority for option b Cool. So let's stop the polling and see what's the correct answer. Sure. Okay. So look at how we calculate. If I take five, the opponent takes five, and the opponent wins. If I take ten. then the opponent gets minus 4 we get minus 1 opponent gets 2 and our turn we get 15 so the correct answer is b so brilliant who have who all have got the answer super so everybody has said now b so i think uh, now they are getting into the groove they are understanding the move so this is the last level that we are going to play and please look at the option it has only three moves you have to win the game in only three moves okay so look look at option a if i take option a what will the column has the column has multiple numbers if i take option b what happens if i take option c what happens if i take option d what happens so i have to just make the opponent lose even if it's by one number it doesn't matter so think about it think about it don't jump to conclusion you don't want to prolong the game because you have only you're on mute you have only three moves okay you have only three moves and you, you have four options now you have a b c and d and you don't want to take don't know as option yeah so you you have to think i have to win the game in three moves which will give me less than three moves or three moves and then i choose the option if i take option a i have so many numbers to go okay so think about it will i win the game or i lose the game if i take a 3 i get a 6 what will the opponent take will the opponent take a 1 a minus 4 a 5 or a 9 Okay, if you were the opponent, what would you would you have done? Would you have taken the highest number to win the game? Oh, so there's a competition between A and D. Nobody is thinking B and C as the answer, but majority of the people are feeling D is the correct answer. Super! I'm so glad they are thinking about it. Okay.
अभी बी के लिए कोई लड़ रहा है Somebody saying B is the correct answer. Look at the difference in scores between the two things, thirty-three and eight. Which will it will make sense? If I choose an answer C, which is minus two, the column has nothing. So I actually took a minus two and lost the game. Cool. So another ten seconds, and we'll close the voting for this. Majority of you have said D is the correct option. I know the chat also. Arshia Ganguly feels D is the correct option. She has already disclosed it on the chat. Chat. So, Shail, what do you think you would have done? I would have gone with the majority. So, can we? Are we ready to show the answer? Let's show. Sure. So, what's the correct answer? It is D, and I'm showing you why it is D. So, when I do this, the opponent gets that, and then we win the game. Okay, so we win the game because of what has happened, and we won because the opponent has lost the game. But just the way we are doing uh, setbacks, opponent also would do a setback and take minus six instead of taking plus three. Yeah, they would do it, but if they if they don't know how to plan ahead, uh, yeah, that setback would be costly to them. So I'm going back to the presentation because we finished the levels, and I'm handing it over to you, Sushil. Uh, uh, so that has brought us to the last leg of the of the presentation, and we would like to hear more from you in terms of what do you think. Uh, About the entire thing, can you see my screen, Deepal? Yes, I can see your screen, Sushil. Okay, so just as we played one game, which was Maxit, and that's one of my personal favorite games. You can see on the screen there are multiple games teaching you multiple, uh, you know, uh, uh, possibilities. So there's a game for move order analysis. There's a game for Avoiding dead ends, prioritization, finding anchors, recognizing patterns. So this actually helps you to look at, uh, as I said, multiple dimensions of creativity. Uh, you know, many of the times finding anchor itself is also important. Uh, sometimes, you know, and in this game, we also did a backward analysis. That what is the ultimate answer that we want? So we go two three steps in our mind and see what it's done. So there's a wonderful game on how do we analyze backward. in creativity is also important to act, you know understand what patterns are because many a times if you build a pattern then you can actually uh, look at solving similar kind of problems every time and in fact you know if somebody is looking at uh, something like artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is nothing but identifying patterns and then coding those patterns so that next time if somebody asks the same question you get the same answer so that's how uh, it actually leads to uh, ai so uh, multiple games multiple learning different way and different fun so this is all axiom is all about at this actually uh, you know brings it so i'm sure if there are parents out there they would also uh, resonate with this fact ki bachcho ko uh, besides their academics they also need some important life skills jaise uh, curiosity or imagination ho gaya initiative and entrepreneurship how you can think fast how uh, agile you are and how quickly you can adapt to situation and again uh, you know covid pandemic is the best example how we all 
uh, quickly move to uh, this and adapted ourselves how you can think critically and how you can solve problems your effective communication how do you collaborate with each other and whatever information is available i mean this century is the century of information lots and lots of information is available on a click of a button how do you uh, get the relevant information abhi ye game mein bhi aapne dekha hoga bahut bar bahut sare numbers hai but some of those numbers are not useful you have to really find out what is useful for you and ultimately navigate and games is the best way to you know sometimes uh, put you into the problem and uh, get the solutions for that so uh, just to reiterate again uh, this is a thought through uh, strategy by both uh, uh, ufes and npower uh, you know as i said npower tied up with axelium brought it in india and and ufes uh, is proudly associated with this entire initiative of uh, nurturing 21st century life skills that's what uh, you know all of us uh, all the three organizations together want children to get exposed to 21st century life skill actually with israel based platform uh, you know has been doing extensively good work in socio economic skill building social emotional skills of children uh, building thinking skills among them and this is as i said a 23 year old organization more than 5 million students are using this platform across 30 countries so india is proud uh, to associate with them i'm i'm sure you know you all would love this games uh, you know love those uh, skills and we all uh, want the skills to be built beside its academics just to give you one uh, example jaise humne abhi creative thinking ki baat ki and there are multiple dimensions of creative thinking Uh, for example innovative ways of problem solving breaking patterns to arrive solutions maximize jo bhi resources available we can't always complain about we want resources whatever resources are available how we can use them creatively to solve problems around us techniques of evaluation of alternatives so there are multiple ways uh, this is looked at you get a chance to play multiple games you enjoy those games and during those games you nurture this various facets of Uh, thinking creatively and also you get a chance to uh, evaluate at the end of this it's a small uh, game based evaluation where you understand where do you stand with uh, uh, you know this skill so this clearly shows that i am very good at performance under pressure but when it comes to quick thinking i need to improve in analytical ability and adaptability i am average so that also i need to improve but my immediate focus or an area of improvement should be quick thinking because that's where my score is very less and you can also compare this vis-a-vis -vis other people who are playing so this gives you a very immediate tool uh, to do a dip stick and see where you are in terms of those skills so this is what uh, you know we had from our side uh, to to bring it to your table we once again thank on behalf of npow npower and ufes learning Uh, me uh, sushil mungekar and uh, deepal both of us uh, you know uh, would like to thank the school uh, uh, millennium uh, students who are participating into this and basically you know the school progressively thought that this is something which has to be brought in to children to think beyond academics uh, if you have any questions any queries uh, you can put it on the dialog box right now but even further if you have queries Uh, you can get in touch with miss shriya khetan from your school uh, she has our contact details she has she will tell you what's the road map because school is thinking of taking this program bringing it to you uh, uh, and if you know obviously more people subscribe to this uh, school will be in a better position to roll this out so if you love this game if you love this thought of learning so many things from a game i'm sure you would look at axelium and empower and and ufps as your partners uh, you know there are for each of the program there are 12 sessions a uh, thinking coach which will come so just the way, just the way deepal took us all of us through this entire program there will be a trained thinking coach which will sit across the across the terminal and will take you through those programs and build it to the uh, you know ultimate applications and lot of real life problems will be able to solve so with that uh, we would like to end the session we uh, really enjoyed it and i'm sure you also equally enjoyed it uh, i clearly see that uh, many people would have missed it uh, today uh, but i think 
you are our brand ambassador those all you have played the game go back to uh, uh, you know some all these students who have missed it and uh, tell them what they have missed and uh, with that i think uh, we can end the session so thank you very much and talk to people talk to spread the awareness about why thinking creativity is very important especially at this age we wish all the best for all your careers and do well and keep thinking creatively thank you very much